Right guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Chris. Today we're shooting slingshot darts. Stay tuned. So before we go any further, I want to show you the darts up close. I want to show you the bands up close. And I want to show you these class little SS frames up close. This is a blue one. They come in a variety of different colors. And uh, there's a few different designs, like themes, like there's a Punisher theme. The one I've got banded up for the darts is the red one. You know, they're, they're awesome. I'm pretty sure it's uh, anodized aluminium. But anyway, let, let's, take a, uh, let's take a look at the difference of the darts. <clears throat> so here's these new darts. You can see all one piece fletching. Here's the old darts. Whereas the fletchings are all separate. And they're all... Um, pliable. These fletchings are slightly more rigid but still pliable. All one piece so whenever you're pulling them back out of your target you don't lose them. The heads come off. This is an old blunt tip. You can see it just doesn't have a acute point like this one does. The blunt tips are great for the likes of if you're shooting into wood. They don't just go in as deep, they're easier pulled out, less chance of damaging them. The Mark II ones are superior because the fletchings are more robust and you can see your grip here, your end tab to hold on to is slightly bigger. Doesn't affect the flight of the dart whatsoever but does give you increased grip and that control is important whenever you feel like you're in control shooting something like this. I want to show you a couple of clips now of how dangerous these darts can be, guys that have shot themselves in the hand with them. So, here we have the Dragon Scale Glove, which they offer for hand protection. And you can see where all them hits take place on the hand. This is where they would take place when you're shooting them with a the catapult. Um, your forefinger and thumb are bracing the frame. That's the only part of the frame, or of your hand really, that can be hit. Back of the palm. So you can see there, nice leather buckle. And I've spoken to Sniper Sling and these Dragon Scale gloves, which look awesome, kind of med medieval look to it, are handmade. These scales are all sewn in by hand, individually. And you can see that there's that there, honestly, is a masterpiece. The leather feels a good quality, nice soft, durable leather, nice stitching, you know, <laughs> that is that is a quality, quality product right there, you know, no denying it. I don't know if you guys seen the, the old protective glove, it was basically a solid leather glove and then there was like a big square plate here sewn into the leather, big square plate here sewn into the leather and a big square plate here sewn into the leather. And this was very restrictive in hand movement whereas because these dragon scales little steel scales are all individual it it moves it flexes whatever way you need it to flex you know and, and it is it is a work of art so yeah here we got our new darts the sharp tips We've got the SES frame. The frame I've selected to shoot in red. So how you load the darts, it's just like this. And you hook it in there and you always go over the top. By the way, shoot these at your own risk. I'm not you know gonna be responsible for any accidents always over the top of the band so yeah whenever you're loading these up this is the shooter side of the frame this is the target side of the frame 
the bonds pull this way, the hook of your dart goes in over the top. You see that? And this is how you shoot them. Just like that. Alright, let's go and do some shots. Hey, do me a favour if you're enjoying this video. Go down and hit that like button. I appreciate it. Alright guys, so we've got my balloon set up down there for targets. Let's shoot four darts. Or four balloons, hopefully in four darts. But we'll see. Carefully load our dart in, paying attention to be centre of the string. Brace, make sure your gloves comfortable draw and shoot one they are hitting hard two <laughs> that one slipped I was lucky to hit that one these are these are dangerous guys so like be careful you know don't shoot them in your garden or built up area if you're gonna shoot them Four out of four, I'm happy with that. <laughs> they are kind of hard to get out of a target. You might have seen my previous dart videos. I'll put a playlist up here you can check out. I've got a good few dart videos and they seem to be popular, the dart videos. But I had to make this wooden target when I got these, uh, this latest package of darts, that this whole dart kit from Sniper Sling with the glove and the SES frames and the new darts, Mark III darts, I think they are now. But previously, I was getting sniper sling yellow bands with all my uh, dart kits. These bands look to be one mil thick sniper sling black. Now you guys know that I'm, I've been loving the sniper sling black, absolutely loving it. Superb band, the best band I've used so far. Speedways, uh, you know the speed that you get for the draw weight that you pull. Um, there's nothing else in comparison that I have personally used. But I used to use that, you might just see the top of it, the archery foam target hanging there behind that wooden target I've made. And when I first got this kit, this new dart kit and started testing it, the, the darts were disappearing into the foam target. So I was losing the darts or else I was going to have to start butchering the foam target to get them back, which I don't want to do because I need it for other stuff, you know, I don't want to cut it into ribbons to get the darts back. But you can see the conundrum and it's down to these bands, these black bands. We've got five red circles here, but let's do five shots. Um, you, they'll hit the wood substantially harder and you'll hopefully hear it. I've got a microphone back there because the balloon's obviously slowing them down. So we'll go for uh, the middle target first. Middle circle. Off to the side, I'm going to start that again. Here I've got a blunt tip. The blunt tips, that's what I want to recommend to you guys. If you're going to get these to mess around with, you're going to want to shoot a wooden target, unless you can get a target better than this. Um, possibly like a traditional archery target, you know where it's like woven, like a nearly, I, don't, I want to say a wicker, a straw target. A, a woven straw target might be the best thing for these. But if you're going to shoot a wooden target like what I'm shooting now, I recommend getting these blunt tips and if you are somewhere where it's legal to hunt with something like this the blunt tips will, you'll still hunt with the blunt tips you're going to be probably taking small game anyway I wouldn't like to be trying to take big game with these not that you couldn't in a pinch if you were in a true survival post-apocalyptic scenario them sharp tips are are, uh, are the ticket so let's try another one um, center red circle bit low okay the top left with the blue balloons hanging center and see whenever you you're repeatedly shooting these you're pulling them out of wooden target make sure you clear that little gullet don't have any fragments of your target in there because it will hinder the whole shooting setup. 
And as you've seen previously, these things are fucking dangerous. So let's go bottom left. These, these really are awesome, guys. Top right. Yep. Bottom right. Really happy with that. So there was my first two shots, they were kind of filler shots. Obviously the balloon's a bigger target than, than uh, these red circles. So miss, I had one on here. I thought, I thought I hit these two. I have one here breaking the line, I have one miss. I have a hit here, a lower miss, and again a hit here and a lower miss. Now all these darts are in past the barb. I'm gonna go up and get you guys and bring you down and show you. So yeah, I hope you can see that. There's a good example there. And past the barb. Okay. So I'm not gonna show you guys get me all of these out, but you wanna get up close to the head of the dart, wiggle it round. This these here, um, this target's made out of rafters, six inch rafters, six by two inch rafters, and it is softwood, so you can wiggle them out. You want to be careful when you're wigging, wiggling them out. Like, it's always, it's always past the barb. So the barb is really the thing that hinders you getting them out. And you want to wiggle your dart out perpendicular to the barb. So you don't want to kind of bend the barb over. You want to go side to side against the barb to get them out of your target. That way they'll last a lot longer. But I haven't bent, bent any of these yet. And I do believe you know, always pulls a chunk of wood out with it here on the on the little gullet. But I do believe the tips of these are hardened, which is a benefit when you're doing something like this. You know, if it was soft, they would just bend there. And I haven't had any of I haven't had any of these Mark III darts bend yet. I've had I think it was the original Mark I models that bent on me. But I haven't had any of these bend on me. And these are, these really are a fantastic, fantastic product by Sniper Sling. Sniper Sling was the first to do something like this. Everybody else, you know, there was, there was always plenty of fishing darts available. Fishing, slingshot fishing darts in China are very, very popular. Not overly popular here. I think, uh, I'm not sure what the laws are, are on hunting in China, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're only allowed to fish. I don't actually think it's legal over there to hunt wild animals or mammals or anything because they're all considered to be state owned. I could be wrong though, correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody, some of my viewers may, may know but the, the slingshot fishing darts over there are incredibly popular and you can see there's some fantastic footage on the internet of guys using fishing darts um, taking fish off bridges and there's a line attached and stuff but these here, these here are more my type of thing because the fishing darts don't have fletchings and I got them ages ago and I tried to shoot them like this and they just don't shoot accurately at all without a line attached to the back of them to stabilize the flight. But yeah, that's all them out. You can see it wasn't too bad. Hope it didn't bore you too much, but let's have another few shots.
just shot my camera stand with this dart. <laughs> lovely all right guys that's all for this video i've got loads more videos i want you to check out my playlists plenty more content for you guys to watch really appreciate you tuning in thanks for giving me that like earlier drop me a comment below let me know what you think of the new darts the new dragon scale glove and i'll catch you next time